rain begins to fall, a ride can turn into a swim rather than a cycle. There's nothing wrong with being wet, of course, because it's part of bike riding. Yeah, but sometimes you want to stay nice and dry and subsequently warm. So in this video, we're going to give you all the tips that you need to know to keep you nice and dry when the rain does start to fall. Anyway, moving straight on to avoiding puddles. Watch Let's, out for that yeah, one. Watch out, one. there's plenty on this ride. Aye. Come on, man on. Bye -bye. Let's get wet. Just going to avoid that puddle. Now, first up, it might sound obvious and a little bit silly, but try and avoid puddles if you can. If you end up riding through puddles with a lot of water, it's just going to toss up and go all over your body and you're going to be soaking wet. So if you can, try and weave through the puddles if it's safe to do so. Yeah, and from a safety aspect, we highly suggest you don't hurtle into standing water. You could get some mild aquaplaning or it could be much deeper than you thought. You could be over a pothole or a manhole cover. So steer away from the standing water if you can. Yeah, this puddle's actually quite deep. I need to get out of here. Yeah, you could go away to China down there. Wow. Sometimes you can't avoid the surface water. When it pours out with rain, it feels like you're almost riding through a river rather than a road. Yeah, now in these situations, mud guards are your friends. Now you can get all different types of mud guards that fit all different types of bike, from long length ones to R savers. Now in my mind, R savers are the one to go for. Not only are they easy to apply to your bike, but they keep you nice and dry from that standing water. And I reckon, it's the standing water is the main culprit in getting you wet. But also mudguards are going to help keep your riding buddies nice and dry too. So it's a win-win. Mudguards are the best, but sometimes they can have divided opinions. So let us know down in the comment section below if you're a lover or a hater of the humble mudguard. And uh, why don't you have mudguards? To buy it. Well, I didn't... I thought you could sit on my wheel and could just test. There are different rain jackets for different situations. You can have a quite a light rain jacket that's quite easy to fit in your pocket, but will have quite a low waterproofing rating. Then you can have more of a heavy duty rain cape that will keep you completely dry, but when you're not using it, it can be quite hard to pack away in your back pocket. So it's really important that you have the right rain jacket for your style of riding. Now, when choosing a jacket, it's worth having a look at the manufacturer's website or asking in store about how waterproof your jacket is. A lot of websites will show you how waterproof, how breathable they are. Now, if you're going for a commute and you're not going to take your jacket off much, then you can go for a much heavier duty jacket. But if you want one that you can pack up small and pop into your back pocket, going for something like this, which is waterproof, breathable and shake dry, is probably going to do the job. And, uh, well, it works for today because, as you can see, it's not raining just yet. Next up, a quick and easy hack to protect your phone and electronics is that you can keep them in a Ziploc bag like this. Just make sure to reuse the bag, do not chuck it away. Or you can actually get purpose-made ones um, for bike riding that you can stick your phone and money in. It'll keep everything really dry and keep all the mud away. You stick it in your back pocket and everything's all good. During those wet, wintry and misty conditions, it's highly likely that the visibility is going to be pretty low. Now, not only do we want to stay dry, but we also want to stay safe and seen. So you can protect yourself by chucking some lights on your bike, like Manon's done here with a rear light. And it's not only protecting it from a light point of view, but you can also do it by wearing a highly reflective cape or jacket. That way, when you are riding in some pretty grim conditions, you're also going to stay nice and seen. Ultimately, we do want to stay alive when riding our bikes. Now, there's some areas that a waterproof cape doesn't cover, like your legs or if you're using a short sleeve jacket, your arms. Now, what you could do is add some waterproof spray to your arm warmers, leg warmers or bib ties. Now, that, what that does is repel some of that water. It could actually keep you nice and dry. And it's also a good way to give a new lease of life to your old jackets that might have lost some of their waterproof abilities. It's a really good and efficient way of just getting your clothing back to waterproof. Can 
Commuting to work is always a great idea, but arriving at work with a soggy backpack, it's not so good. So you want to get a proper waterproof rucksack to put all your stuff in, or you could actually get a waterproof cover for your backpack. So if the heavens do open, you can just pop it on, and everything's nice and dry. Yeah, but saying that, man, what you could do, and it's a kind of a money-saving aspect too, is use a bin bag or an old shopping bag. That way you can fill your contents Good idea. in that bag, put that bag inside your rucksack or your pannier bag, and jobs are good in. You're keeping your stuff nice and dry. When you're looking at commuting, whether you're riding to school, to work, or you're going to important business meetings in this city, and you want to keep your casual clothing or your suits nice and dry. Now, what you could do is invest in a waterproof trousers, waterproof specific jackets, and that you can get ones that pack up nice and small. You can put them in the bottom of your bag, forget about them, but then when the heavens do open, or there's lots of standing water, whip them out, put them over your suit or your casuals, Jobs are good and you stay nice and dry and then when you get to destination, whip them off, jobs are good. And like it. also to add to that one, not only can you get overshoes for your actual cycling shoes, you can also get overshoes for your business work posh meet and shoes, put them over the top, also helmet covers and also gloves as well to what? keep your hands nice and dry. What, like those shoes you wear when you go into swimming pools and you can't take your shoes off? S something like that, a bit more fashionable than that. Next up, Lycra. Now, Lycra is a cyclist's best friend, isn't it, Manon? Yeah. It's fast, fast it's light, it's aerodynamic, and it's also quick dry. But the best thing about it, I guess, when riding in wet weather, is that when it gets wet, it's not that chafing. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like you know, when you wear wet jeans. Yeah, it's and like it, that. it gets soggy, heavy, and wet. But Lycra does the complete opposite. Hence, why our cyclists Love to wear Lycra. It might look a bit weird if you're not a cyclist, but once you're in the cycling bubble, it's pretty normal. There are so many waterproof accessories out there. Gloves, overshoes, helmets, hats, and the list goes on. But finding ones that work for you and ones that work for your riding style is absolutely key. Now for me, a simple cape, a good pair of overshoes, and some waterproof gloves is my go-to. But a secret weapon is this little thing here. This is just a simple cycling casquette, but it might not be waterproof, but in actual fact, it keeps the heat in too, and it also keeps the water out of my eyes. So, this is one of my secret weapons. And lastly, keep on riding. I hate to break it to you, but when it is falling down with rain, stopping for a coffee is probably not the best thing to do because you're going to get cold. But actually, just by riding in the wet, you're going to keep your core body temperature where it needs to be if you're wearing the right clothing. Yeah, now I love a coffee stop, but when you're soaked through, it's probably the worst time to stop. And there's nothing worse with sitting at a cafe with a wet chamois and making the seat all wet. Anyway, let's avoid that by keeping on riding, which keeps your body temperature up, and then enjoy stopping when you get home. If you've got a fire, chuck that on, take all that wet clothing off, get hot chocolate, and Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're in a good place. Yeah, and um, cream and marshmallows. Oh, another thing, you could actually take the coffee stop on your ride. So put some snacks in your back pocket, fill your flask up with coffee, jobs are good. Yeah, there you go. In this video, you've learned how to keep nice and dry. If you've got any tips for us, then let us know in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.